Hey YouTube, this is Chris Gunnels again, getting back with you with Ammo Reloaders of America. I am here today to show you my dueling tree that I just welded together, and I've got a, a couple uh, targets from Salute Products, I believe. I'll put a link down in the description or an annotation on this video. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to show you what I was working on. Uh, just uh, it took me a couple days to build. Anyway, I wanted to show it to you, explain how I built it. Uh, show you what I'll be using it for. So here we go. Okay, starting at the top here, we've got these steel plates here from uh, Salute Products. They are, I believe, four inches in diameter, and they're made of R AR 500 uh, armor steel. I've only got three of them because they uh, they cost about twenty-two dollars a piece, and right now I'm kind of low on funds. That's what I have. I have room for six of them. I built uh, or six attachments, uh, I guess is what you would call them, or six ways to attach them. So this is made out of, I believe, um, if I remember right, one eighth inch steel. And I just got it all from Home Depot. It was pretty cheap. Down here, you see this is, this piece right here is actually a square tube. And then this is just a uh, L, L shape steel on both sides and if I can I'll zoom in here for you if I can yeah. I just welded right there cut cut the the tube at a 45 degree angle on both sides there and just welded it to this L steel uh, and then I also took another 45 or excuse me another uh, square uh, steel tube and uh, turned it uh, about uh, or 45 degrees and then just welded it down there on the bottom all the way around and then just left um, this uh, this steel tube right here or excuse me this L steel I don't know what it's called exactly and let me show you the back here how I how I'm attaching these actual steel plates Let's see these just slide out very simple and this light in. This is just made out of one one inch by two inch um, nipples that I got at Home Depot in the plumbing department. And I welded welded them on. Here, let me show you the best weld. But uh, yeah, I just welded these on six of them, so I have room for six um, all the way down. And I'll get three more as soon as I get some money. But uh, the idea is simple. If you're familiar with the dueling tree, then you know. Uh, but every time I hit it um, with the with whatever gun I'm shooting, it's supposed to swing around. And then I can hit it this side, and it'll swing around, so I don't have to keep resetting targets. And there'll be three for each person that's shooting. It was pretty simple to build. Hopefully that gives you an idea. I I turned this. Let me show you here. I, I bent it down there at the bottom so that I can have it at this degree. I don't even know what degree this is, but uh, the reason why I did that is so that when you shoot it and it comes around, the weight, the weight of the steel will will pull it down. And also, just in case, um, if a bullet hits here and it'll ricochet a little, you know, down instead of directly straight back at me. I don't know if it will. This is, to be honest, the first time I'll be shooting steel targets. That's I saw a design on YouTube and wanted to make something similar, and that's what I did. So hopefully this gives you guys an idea. If you want to do it again uh, yourself, it's again it's one eight inch steel tongue twister there, and I got it at at Home Depot, and so I think for all the steel it was around. 30 bucks, 40 bucks, uh, and then you got to add in these uh, targets, uh, which I got from Salute Products uh, for about $22 a piece plus shipping. So, as you can imagine, kind of expensive. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll uh, I'll be sure to answer those and get back with you. If you have any questions on how I built it, uh, any tips that you can give me for the future for if I build another one of these, that would be great too. Thanks a lot.